Robert Menzies is a towering influence in Australian history. He is the original influencer on Australian society. It's Robert Menzies' liberal ideas that have shaped Australia into the nation it is today. Freedom of the individual, private enterprise, a sense of national pride, and the family as the foundation of society. I think the Robert Menzies Institute is of enormous value. Melbourne University was so important to him. In this beautiful museum space, we tell the story of Robert Menzies from his very humble origins in Japarat in northwestern Victoria, through to coming here to Melbourne University as a law student, and then on to state and federal politics after a short career at the bar, and finally coming back here to Melbourne University as Chancellor. The Menzies Collection is an incredible collection comprised of over four and a half thousand books. There are a vast range of themes within it, growing from everything from politics to poetry to philosophy to history. It's housed within the Lee Scott Room in the Bailey Library and within the Menzies Institute Museum we show a fraction of that collection which we change over every six months. What makes the collection so special is how wide and varied it is. It shows how well read Menzies was, how deep his thinking was. We just use these collections, we use this heritage to bring people together, to give them, um, just to keep their, you know, core memory. I think that's, um, that's really important. Australian history is the history of our nation, it's our story, and it's the story of arguably the most successful and prosperous multicultural liberal democratic nations in the world. The Robert Menzies Institute works across schools and research, exhibitions and events, and through these activities we bring alive the spirit of Menzies and his liberal ideas for the next generation. So the Robert Menzies Institute this year have actually had a really busy calendar of events. We've been very active um, in a number of different events actually and expanded into events that we haven't previously held before. We host annual conferences where we bring together academics from all around Australia to look in detail at aspects of the Menzies era. We have a fellows program where we bring in people to look extended at a particular topic. We've now got the second volume of our book series. The Young Menzies from our annual conference is now being published by the University of Melbourne Press. But what's perhaps most exciting is that the book sold really well. A particular development which I've been excited to see is the engagement of schools with our museum. We've had groups of over 70 coming in to see what we're about and learn about the history. It's really important for students to engage with the work of the Institute. We run a number of events that um, appeal to students but also that we hope to get engagement from them. It was really interesting to see how so many of these young people put a really kind of personal personal spin or a personal understanding on the topic into their speech and really taken the time to reflect on what it is that the past, in particular the actions of the Menzies government, can actually inform the present. It's important for them to know about history and it's important for us to really engage with the future generation on what we're doing and it's important for their future as well. And we also, in doing that, need to make sure that we're trusting young people, we're respecting them, and we're respecting them in a way that says that we do believe, we have high expectations that they can access and they can really grasp um, some quite complex um, areas of our, of our national story. What excites me is that we are dealing with one of the most incredible book collections in Australia, and we are able to put it on display and share it with people and share Menzies' world. So the fact that the Institute is actually part of Melbourne University, part of where he did his study, he would have been delighted. I am certainly delighted, and so is the rest of the family. Without the support of our wonderful donors, we wouldn't be able to have the enormous impact on future generations that we're having today. Mm -hmm.